gentlemen, the piece of the I know three. I'd like to call the Tuesday, October 20th. It is what it is. I did all please write with me and stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. person will be allowed to speak once, um, and you will be allowed to speak multiple times. Uh, please be sure you say everything you want in the time allotted. Um, and if someone has already stated uh, something that you agree with, uh, please just let us know that you agree with their statements and um, present us with the information that we may not have heard before. Um, and uh, I think that's about it. There's a row of chairs right here. Change of zone application at issue today. That recommendation is based upon whether the applicant is satisfied by factors set forth in section 23 2 30 of the Wells County Code. The recommendation made by the Planning Commission and the record of this hearing will be forwarded to the Board of County Commissioners for their consideration. Board of County Commissioners will conduct a second public hearing on November 18, 2015, at 9 30 a.m. in the same room. Board of County Commissioners will make their final decision. a change of zone from the A Agricultural Zone District to the I-2 Industrial Zone District. 21 referrals were sent out and 15 either did not respond or indicated no concerns. Two signs announcing this hearing were posted 10 days prior to the hearing by planning staff. The site is located east of and adjacent to County Road 13 and 
south of and adjacent to US Highway 34. There is residence on this property which is served with public water from the city of Greeley and there is an existing septic system on the site for use by tenants of the house. Future development on the site may require upsizing of the water line and a possible change in use of the water tap. If approved, the change of zone will provide a shovel-ready industrial site where primary job providers will be able to develop due to zoning infrastructure and services in place or reasonably attainable. If approved, the 137 acres of industrially zoned uh, land will provide opportunities for businesses to locate close to rail and road infrastructure. Improvements for County Road 13 and US Highway 34 are proposed uh, due to the approval of the Martin Marietta Asphalt and Concrete Bash Plan. At this time, it is unknown what types of uses will be on this site. However, staff is requiring a uh, traffic impact study with any land use applications that have significant traffic. So can be determined if additional improvements to the intersection or the roads are required. <coughs> any proposed use in the I-2 zone district will require either a site plan review if it is a use by right or a USR, a use by special review permit. The land to the east of the site is low density residential subdivision, uh, Indian Head subdivision, which is zoned agricultural. Due to the close proximity of low density residential, staff is recommending screening and buffering between any I-2 development and this low density residential uses adjacent to the site with the submittal of land use applications for development. And this is noted under uh, 3D, I believe, that may have changed. As of October 9th, the Department of Planning Services had received 59 letters from the surrounding property owners concerning this change of zone. Since then, another 10 or so have been submitted. The letters outline concerns of incompatibility between the potential I-2 industrial zone uses and the adjacent residential low density uses. The Town of Windsor and the City of Greeley submitted referral agency comments both dated June 12, 2015, which state that this development is inconsistent with the existing 2008 Windsor Greeley Intergovernmental Agreement and that the proposal is incompatible with the vision that the Town of Windsor and the City of Greeley have developed for this area. The Town of Johnstown submitted referral agency comments dated July 6, 2015 in the form of Resolution 2015-8 opposing the <coughs> change of zone based on the incompatibility with the Town of Johnstown's comprehensive plan as this property is designated for commercial uses in the town of Johnstown um, compound. The resolution also states that the industrial uses would negatively impact the Indian Head Residential Subdivision. The Department of Planning Services is recommending approval of this change of zone along with the conditions of approval and development standards. The applicant is present and I do have images of the site in the adjacent area. So this is um, a vicinity map and it also shows the zoning in the area. So it shows the zoning to the north, which is the town of Windsor. The zoning that's to the west, which is in Larimer County, is a combination <coughs> of agricultural and commercial zoning. Um, the zoning that surrounds the site to the east is ag and to the south is ag. Um, and as you know, that USR for Martin Marietta is a property that's a south and adjacent to this site. And that has been approved for an asphalt batch plant, which would typically fall into an I-3 zone district. This map shows uh, land uses. So even though we have some ag zoning and we have some uh, um, industrial zoning and commercial zoning, currently those um, pieces of land are being used um, as agricultural purposes that are, have not yet been developed. So to the north um, in Windsor, it's all ag land. And to the northwest, the, the area that was annexed into Johnstown, it is some um, commercial, but as you can see, it's currently ag because they have not developed it yet. Um, the area south of US 34 um, and west of County Road 13, it is currently being used as commercial and industrial. And then we have some 
residential uses in the ag areas, um, specifically the uh, Indian Head subdivision to the east and to the southeast of the site. This is the aerial view of the site. It's currently mostly ag land. There is a uh, residential structure with some outbuildings on the site. Um, so there are two signs that are posted. This is the sign that was posted on US Highway 34. So this is the view looking south across the property. This is um, the view to the southeast, the view east, and this is along US Highway 34. The view to the northeast, um, the view looking north and the view looking northwest. Um, this is the view looking west um, along US Highway 34, and this also shows the Funny Road. And then this is the view to the southwest. The second sign was posted about halfway, about a quarter mile south of US Highway 34 along um, County Road 13, and this is the view looking east from County Road 13 across the property. Um, the view looking northeast, um, there you can see the outbuildings and the house structure that is currently on the site. This is the view looking north along County Road 13, the view looking to the northwest, uh, the view looking west above County Road 13, the view looking towards the southwest, um, and the view looking south along County Road 13, and the view looking southeast. Um, I'm happy to answer any questions. Yes, sir. Any questions? <coughs> All right, so we have uh, Mr. Powers of Engineering. Thank you, Wayne Power Engineering. As Dan had mentioned, this project uh, is located on County Road 13 and currently does access on County Road 13 with several existing access points. These access points currently So, latest count on Canada 13 was taken on 11 6 of 2013, which does turn into an idea of 22% trucks. Canada 13 is a paved roadway designated uh, by Weld County as an arterial road, which does require 140 feet of right away to build up. We have, as the applicant, delineated this uh, future right away and existing right away on the documents. Uh, due to the change in zone, there is no time for review, but upon closer to all these items will be addressed um, at that point in time. And uh, I'd be glad to uh, answer any questions you might have. Commissioners? All right, Ms. Lee. Lori Lake, Fire Environmental Health. The city of Greeley, Warren, Little Thompson, Rochester will provide water. And the engineer of commercial septic would provide sewage disposal where the business is established for that site. We did receive an email confirmation from the city of Greeley that there is a water tap on the property and the tap might be able to be changed to commercial industrial use, which would then have specific requirements for Greeley. The applicants indicated that they may want Little Thompson Water District to serve the site. So that's why condition of approval 1A does require documentation from Little Thompson prior to reporting to the change of zone. The resident on site did not have a documented um, septic system on file, so condition of approval 1B did require um, the applicants to apply for a statement of existing and document that system. They came in and filed the paperwork. We did go out yesterday and did an inspection on that and all that needs to be done is that a middle lid has to be replaced, so if it's appropriate, the petition of approval will be completely deleted. We do have several notes um, that we suggested for the pilot that relate to the septic, water service, and dust control, and those notes are 3I through 3M, and then once a business is established, then we would go to the site plan review and look at more specific requirements, but at this point, that's uh, what we have for five notes. Thank you. The uh, water line from Greeley 
how large and how much will it deliver? And if it's changed to the Little Thompson, is that a procurement or a, an exchange? Uh, you know, or any, or how is that going to be? I don't know the water district requirements. I'm sure the applicant can answer those questions. 